Trey Trotter, licensed marriage and family therapist, talks with you today about teaching your children anger management skills. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Trey Trotter, licensed marriage and family therapist. I'm in private practice. I have a practice in Ponca City, Oklahoma, as well as in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And today is our seventh video in a series of videos about anger. And I want to talk to you a little bit about today about teaching your children anger management skills. You know, a lot of us grew up with now actually being taught what anger management skills were. And I'm going to give you an example from my private practice of people that I had requested to repeat the story and it hopes to help somebody else, but without giving any identifying information. There was a teenage boy, he was about 185 pounds, about six foot two, and he was a football player getting ready to have a promising career in college. And the presenting complaint was that he had been brought in by his father for anger management skills because he had body slammed the principal and got expelled from school. And so I had an opportunity to sit down with the boy and his father and the boy said, Dad, you get mad once a week and you go tear up the garage. And he said, I don't get mad once a week. And he said, yes, you do. No, you, no, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I said, okay, guys, time out, time out. I knew a little bit about this family and the, some of the stresses that they were facing. And so I had kind of a hunch. And I asked Dad, I said, Dad, how often do you get angry? And he goes, I get angry three times a day. The son's jaw just dropped. He was like, what? And I said, Dad, is it possible that your son's not seeing you handle your anger well? And he said, absolutely. And I said, when was the last time you handled it well? He said, this morning. There was an IRS agent that had called, and he got very angry. And I asked the son, I said, what did you notice that your dad did after the phone call? And he said, he went outside and did some yard work. Is that right, Dad? And his dad said, yes. And... I said, did you know what he was doing when he went outside? And the boy said, no. And I said, you know, dad, what were you doing? And dad said, I was calming down because, you know, when I get really upset about once a week, that's when I kind of lose it and tear up the garage. And he said, however, usually what I do is I try to go outside and take a break. And, you know, the son was like, oh, my gosh, we have got the nicest looking yard, dad. You must get angry a lot. And dad was like, I do. So they both laughed. But the thing is that boys do typically learn anger management skills from their dads and females tend to learn from their moms. So what happens if we're not talking about the process of managing our anger? You know, what ends up happening is all they see is the tip of the iceberg. And so they mimic what they see. So if all this son knew was when his dad kind of lost it out in the garage, whenever he got upset, that's what he knew to do. In our next video, we're going to talk a little bit more specifically about an anger management skill in terms of things that are very, very simple that you can teach your children. If you can remember two sentences, we'll be talking about that in the next video. Have a great day, everybody. If you have more, would like some more information about me and the services that I provide, please look at our website at traytrotter.com. In the meantime, remember three questions. Is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? If you can't answer yes to all three, don't do it and don't say it. Thanks and have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Remember, there is hope and I can help.